Yo, what's good guys? Welcome along to the channel and of course welcome to Season 5. Yes, we have got ourselves finally a map update. Something that we really wanted for a long time and one of the little surprises was this train track. Lovely. What goes on train tracks? Of course, Thomas, the tank engine. Now that is definitely its official name because the train does actually carry tanks. So, in fact, most trains have tank engines in them. Anyway, so this seemingly small feature may actually turn out to be the new meta of Warzone. I'm gonna go into great detail now as to why you should pay attention to that train and actively work towards it. So, my name is Gabriel. stick around for the full video. Like, of course, and maybe subscribe for more if you've learned anything at all. Let's get on with the video. So in this video, I want you to learn everything useful about this train. One thing I wanna show you on screen right now is its path. This train does not deviate for any reason from this train track. I would love it if you could derail it or you could complete a mission and it will go towards you. But no, this is the train track and on screen now is the total amount of time it takes to complete a full circuit. The train will always spawn in the same position, so land down south if you fancy a fight. The train itself has seven carriages containing multiple sexy boxes aka the orange ones and an ammunition station which is perfect for warzone you get a one-time use in battle royale and unlimited use in plunder either way if you do land on this train you're pretty much set for the rest of the game in plunder you are guaranteed to get a lot of kills a lot of attention and you pretty much have as much ammo as you can shoot now this train is quite genuinely indestructible here's me chucking a load of things in front of it trying to stop it there's always people on it trying to kill me, so it's quite difficult to get even this footage, but I tried it with multiple things. Nothing will ever stop it. Nothing will let it deviate its path. You can't derail it or stop it in any way. As fun as it is to try it, sadly, it can't be done. One weird thing I tested was the train doesn't actually destroy cash balloons for some reason, so feel free to use it on the track if you're being daring. They also work while on the train as well, so cash balloon or you like. Now the train itself is not that fast, it's only just faster than running, which is frustrating when you want to get on it and get all the stuff off of it. So if you've got a vehicle nearby, you can pull up beside it, of course, great. You jump out of a helicopter, land a helicopter on there, or of course when you drop out of the sky, use your parachute to glide gracefully down like a Minecraft chicken. Just be careful, you can't actually land the chopper on it, it will be destroyed. If you made it this far through the video, please write hashtag or train. And I will heart your comment. I'm going to heart your comment. What more do you want from life? I'm going to heart your comment. Hashtag love train. No, war train. No, sod it. Hashtag love train. Forget that. Love train. Hashtag love train. Hashtag notification bell. Now this train has a huge benefit for Warzone Battle Royale and Plunder. In Battle Royale, the best thing about it is the rare weapons you'll find in those orange crates. Of course, you have an unlimited ammo source. Well, one time use which means you'll be able to open a crate. If you get lucky, you can get armor plates, you can get yourself a trophy system, or maybe a perfect weapon. Perfect way to get tons and tons of cash early on, and, of course, buy your loadout. In Plunder, slightly different, of course. It travels around the map. It's continuously getting attention. You're going to get into multiple, multiple engagements, and, of course, have tons and tons of ammo. It isn't so great for earning cash, but it's certainly great for fun, and it's incredible for kills. Pro tip for you, if you are a marked man, if you are the most wanted target, sit and ride that love train for three minutes straight and relish in the fact that you may get a happy ending where you have three men coming back for you. So when it comes to killing people on this train, what do you do? Are you gonna be a superstar phase sniper or are you gonna do the easy way? And I'm gonna tell you the two easiest ways, one being an airstrike, second being the shield turret. Yes, the shield turret might even have a reason to be in this game right now. I use the shield turret only to take down choppers and now the train. Anyone on the train, a fixed path, you know where they're going. Boom, 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 this thing will dominate, trust me. If it's not clear from the footage in the background, there is no hit markers with these trains. It's instant kill straight away. Even vehicles that tap it, they're going to lose their life. Boom, boom, gone. So avoid this if you're in a vehicle. You can probably survive two seconds touching it, then the vehicle's gone. Don't forget, it's mandatory to spray paint the train, give it some graffiti, and show your clan mad props, y'all. And sadly, that's not true because the game's crap and you can't actually spray paint the train. What are they doing? But by far, outright, by far, the most important thing about the train being one thing, and that is to get mad clips with it. 
in most of the battle royales you can always get the best clips around moving vehicles helicopters the train just adds to the mix it's chaotic it's also a hive of kills and destruction it's a lot of fun i'm glad they've implemented it and i really hope infinity ward add a few more bits to spark up this little interaction with the map changes to the map like this are so much fun so um if you enjoyed the video please drop a like of course consider subscribing my name is Gabriel. i'll see you in the next video